Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Skip Allen Paints. This is an exciting day for me. I hope it is for you, too. The reason it's so exciting for me, and it's the first announcement that I want to make, is happy birthday to me, happy birthday to me, happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday to me. Uh, did I sing that right? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I can't sing, but it is my birthday today. Yay! Uh, well, kind of yay. I'm really old. <laughs> okay, the second announcement that I want to make is don't forget that Holiday Open Studios starts tomorrow. If you haven't registered, you still have time. Registration actually stays open until next Saturday, Saturday week. So, um, but we start tomorrow. So what you want to do is go ahead and register now so you can get started with the rest of us. So do join us for Holiday Open Studio. That will be Karen, Elena, and myself will be the teachers. And it's going to be a lot of fun, I promise you. This is an annual event that we've been doing for a while. Okay. Now, the tip for today, and this really is kind of a tip. Um... I want to talk about brush um, exports and brush imports again. Now, I've talked a ton about that stuff, and I've got some good information on the blog. If you don't know anything about brush imports or exports in uh, Painter 12, then you want to go to my blog and look for, just go in there and there's a search function up in the banner and search for brush management. And the first thing that pops up would be one that will say brush management of primer, something like that. And so you want to be sure and uh, utilize, go in and watch that video if you don't really know what these what these files are if, if this all looks foreign to you then you might want to look at that video <clears throat> okay for those of you who know where i am at the moment these files like the name would be the name of the library the name here would be the name of the category the name here would be the name of the brush variant these files are the files that a uh, painter makes now when you export uh, brushes to some other spot, or if somebody gives you one of these files and you import them, okay? Now, what I want to do, though, is this is easy enough, but what if you still have those old zip folders? Remember how we used to download our, our brushes and they would be in zip folders and we'd have to unzip and put it somewhere, or you might run it through... Uh, uh, Chris Studio's brush manager and it would install it for you, all of those sorts of things. Well, I'm going to show you some tricks that we can do uh, now with these uh, different. Uh, I keep seeing a thing down here saying my computer performance is slow. I have no idea what that is at the moment except for the fact that we have Painter and uh, uh, the video going. Let me just check for a second, see what else I may have open. Uh, I need that. I don't need that. That's not open. So I don't really have anything else open. All right. <clears throat> what we're going to do first is we're going to go to the Internet Explorer and we're going to go to one of my favorite spots and that's David Gell's uh, Jitter Brush. Dot com. And the reason I'm going here is because I can download uh, a new variant to show you what I'm talking about. So let's uh, find something. Uh, pattern rendering variants using the plugin method. Uh, please read this section and follow the locking instructions before. Hmm, that sounds like it's a little more complex than I want. <laughs> I'll tell you what, let's just take in bri dri tribal beads and weaves. I love that setup. It's really a fun one. So we click on tribal beads and weaves. So we come here 
And then what we want to do is we want to download the tribal beads. Uh, and so we'll click on the download. And then I'm going to come up here and go Save As. And I want to go to Brush Extension Test. That's uh, just a, a, a folder I started to uh, be able to tr download all this stuff. And I'll click on Save. OK. Now, that's actually all we need at the moment. So I'm going to click Close here. Yeah, don't need that anymore. All right, so we're back in Painter, and I don't need to be in Painter right now. What I'm going to do is go to my Windows Explorer, where I had downloaded Tribal Beads uh, <clears throat> and Weaves as a zip file. Okay, now if you look at this zip file, you know, if I click on it, I see that I've got Tribal Beads Weaves and Tribal Bead Weaves JPEG. That's really important. I don't want to have anything else in here. I want to have the folder that's, uh, if I'm doing a single zip, it, it could be multiple folders and multiple uh, JPEGs. But usually when you're downloading a single brush entity from our, our group or our category from somebody, it's just going to be the Tribal Beads Weaves and the Tribal Beads Weave JPEG. Now, if you see some other stuff in here, like README files or any of that kind of thing, go ahead and delete them or copy them and move them out. All you want is just this uh, category folder with its companion JPEG. Okay, that's what's in it. Now, I'm not going to unzip this. I'm going to right click on it and I'm going to rename it. Now, I'm not going to rename Tribal Beads and Weaves. I'm going to rename Zip. And I'm going to call it Brush, oops, Brush Library. Ta-da! And when you do that, you're going to get a you're going to get um, a, a warning that says if you change the file name extension, the file might become unusable. Unusable. <laughs> Are you sure you want to change it? And you say yes. Now, the minute that happens, look, my icon now changes to look like um, the way it would look like if I'd saved, uh, if I'd exported the file normally uh, through uh, going through Painter. Okay, now I'm going to, before I did that, I should have copied it. So what I'll do is I'll copy one of these. So I'll just go copy, and I will paste. And it's going to come in with, uh, uh, yeah, there it is. It's going to come in with a copy name. Okay, that's good. So now I'm going to take that same this is the same folder we were always working with, and I'm going to rename it. And this time, I'm going to take out the copy because I don't want it in there. And I'm going to change this to brush category. And say, OK, and we get that same message. Are you sure you want to do it? We say, yes. Ta -da. And look, now it's a different folder. Now, all I did was take the zip file, the original zip file, and I've changed the name of it uh, to brush category, the, the file name and to brush library. Okay, so what does that do for me? Well, check it out. Here we've got Corel Painter open back here in the back. I'm currently at, uh, I'm currently in uh, Bristly and Pottery uh, uh, library. It was one I created in a previous uh, attempt at this video. <laughs> so I'm going to bring this back up here and all I need to do is click on this brush library twice. Just double click it. One, two. And ta-da! There we go. 
we have tribal beads uh, set up as a library with one category in it. So see, I didn't have to go and make a library somewhere. It's all about changing the name of a zip file. Okay, so now let's go back to here. Now, before we go, let's go over here and I'm going to find a different brush library. Actually, I'm going to go to miscellaneous. And I'll be, uh, let's go into, uh, I don't know where I want to go. I love Christine's brushes. I'm going to go in there and, and, and I'll put this one in there just for funsies. Okay, so I'm in Christine's, I'm in the miscellaneous library and I have Christine's uh, category selected. Okay, so and we'll just pick a brush. All right, so we're now in miscellaneous library. I come back over here to my folder again. And this time I come over to brush category and I double click it. And when you double click the brush category, it actually puts it in the currently selected library. So here's the miscellaneous library and we've put in the category in there. Now, again, that was basically, that was exactly what we downloaded from David that was a zip file and all we did was change the zip extension to brush category and the uh, or to brush library. Now I have I have mixed reviews on how this works on a Mac. Some people say the category works just fine but the library doesn't and then some people get good luck and the library works as well. I'm hoping that everybody will be able to do this. It's, it's a very easy way of trans changing what you download from other people. You know, I get the question all the time. I, I have a, a zip file from somebody or another, and I don't know how to install it in Painter. Well, you would have to install it either the old manual way or if you rename the... Uh, uh, the extension, then you can use the current uh, library management. Now, just so you know, let's go back into Painter. Uh, if I take this, uh, I've got braided, uh, beaded braid strand, three strand. I'm going to go to brushes, export brush. Now, in this case, you can only export the currently active brush. And I'll go to my brush extension test. I hope that's where I've been putting these. <laughs> and I will save it. Okay. Now we're going to go back to our uh, Windows uh, Explorer. And, uh, you would, might be in a Mac Finder doing this. And here we find tribal beads uh, brush category. Well, just to show you this works the same way, I'm going to right click on it. I'm going to rename this one to zip. Of course, we get our same little name problem and say, okay. And here we go now, tribal beads. Uh, sorry, where is it? Yeah, this one, tribal beads. Uh, this is not it. Where did my, oh, it's right here. <laughs> and why didn't it change to a zip? Did I, I must have been on this one changing it. Oh, gosh. Y'all, I'm really sorry. I was supposed to be on this one, and I was going to change this to zip. And we get our same little thing. There we go. Now we've got the... Um, Beaded Braid 3 strand. Okay, and when you look at that zip folder, you see we have a JPEG, a nib, a stroke, and an XML document in it. And that's what makes up the, um, <clears throat> the brush, the brush guts. 
<laughs> really, you only need this last one, but all of these are part of that brush. Okay, so again, I can come in here and I can, let's go and unzip this. So we'll go open with WinZip and we'll click on that and that. Okay, now what we've got is a folder that's beaded braid three strand. What's in it, let's go back the other way. What's in it, if I click on it, why isn't it showing up here? Well, anyway, what's in it are these three, these uh, four items. I've got this thumb, but I don't need that, so let's just delete it. Uh, we've got these four items here. So I want to just select those four items. And I'm going to now zip them. So I'm going to send them to compress zip folder. And there, there's my folder that was created from those. Now what I'm going to do is change that to brush variant. And we need a period in between there. All right. So now when I say OK on that, uh, here is my beaded brush three strand brush variant. OK, now if we look up here, let's go to a different library. We'll go to Camel Oils. And what I'm going to do is go back here. And if I double click this, it's going to load in the current category. So I double click. And if we look here at the bottom of the list, there's the beaded braid three strand added to it. All right, so we've talked for about 16 minutes about this, and I'm not really sure that I'm making any sense. <laughs> That's because you may not have the basic information that you need to follow this. So again, go back and look at those uh, videos. But here's the basic information. These, pa these files, name brush library, name brush category, name brush variant, are considered packages and they're actually a zip file. But Painter only recognizes them if they have this kind of extension. So if you find a, a, a set of brushes that you want to install into Painter 12.1, and it, it is in a zip file, then you can simply change the zip name to whatever it's supposed to be, a category or a library you know, uh, or a brush variant, if that happens to be the fact that you're changing down, you're, you're copying just a, a plain brush. Um, so they're interchangeable. You can switch this name to zip, or you can take a zip file and switch the name to brush library, and then that zip file can be loaded. Now be sure that you have the correct stuff in your zip file before you change the name. For instance, in the library, you should have at least one category and one companion JPEG. In the brush category, you would definitely have only one brush folder and uh, the companion JPEG. And with the variant, you will have either an XML file by itself or you'll have up to four files. You could have a JPEG, you could have a stroke file, uh, STK, you could have a nib file, or you could have the XML file all mixed in together. And you simply zip them uh, and then change the names and you can install them directly into Painter. Okay, I hope this uh, helps you guys, when you're out there looking for brushes and the person that's uh, giving you the brush has not changed it to a uh, file that can be imported into Painter. All righty, that's it for now. And don't forget, um, today is my birthday. <laughs> no, don't forget that Holiday Open Studio starts tomorrow. Okay, talk to you later. Bye-bye.